Hello everybody, this is Derek with Get Techie, and today we are going to go over the dreaded issue on Macs where your Microsoft Office cannot activate. When Microsoft Office cannot activate, you normally cannot edit or even look at your documents, you cannot accept documents from other people, and you can't open any type of document through word processing. This is going to be such a hindrance, especially for all of you that are working at home and need to have some type of word processing or just office processing in general working. There is a quick and easy way to fix this. However, there are a few credentials that I think we need to go over. Um, you need to make sure that this office that you've purchased is purchased directly from Microsoft at Microsoft.com. So basically you didn't purchase it from any third party like Amazon or Office Depot or any individual like that. Any store that you could actually just purchase the product, this will also not work unless, of course, it is the Microsoft authorized store. The office also has to be 2016 or newer. So it can be 2016, it can be 2019, it can be Office 365, and of course, any version that they come out that's newer based upon that. These dreaded activation errors that you might see are such as the machine activation error, which is this one on the right, where it asks you to activate later, which obviously you don't want to do, or you can activate by the phone, which can be an entirely new hassle for those of you who have dealt with Microsoft support. Or you can go, or the activation error that you get would be the unable to activate Office with this key, and it just asks you to view your documents. So in that error, it'll just allow you to view documents, but you can't edit them or work with them, which of course no one wants either. And then the third and the worst one is the Microsoft Office Activation Wizard, which it comes up with the Microsoft Office Home and Student 2016 error, where even if you have 2019 or 365 or a different version of 2016, it will come up with the Home and Student error and ask you to activate it, and it just sends you through this loop of activation. These three main errors are able to be fixed through one simple action, and that is through the use of the License File Removal Tool. Microsoft provides it on their website. It's completely free. It's just deep within their um, deep within their files of as far as tech support. As there's so many different things that Microsoft can fix when it comes to their support system. But we're going to show you guys how to go through this right now. Um, this is just the basic thing you need to go to. Again, just warning you: you have to have bought Office 2016 or newer directly from Microsoft, or else this will not work. On that note, let's go directly to the website and I'll show you guys how to run the license removal tool. So we're going to go directly to Chrome, which is just a browser that I'm using. And the page is how to remove Office license files on a Mac. So I'm directly at the page already. However, you can just go to Google and type in how to remove Office license files on a Mac. It's up right there. Google it. It should be the first one. Make sure that it says support.office.com so you know it's directly from Microsoft. You know you're not getting some Windows or answers. You're literally just getting it from Office. Click on that. We'll go straight back to the page. And here we are. As you can see, it works for 365 all the way through 2016 of all the different applications. What you need to do? Download and run the license removal tool. So we're just going to go ahead and click on this. I'm using Chrome. So the download should be in this bottom left corner right here that I'll click on. And here we go. So the install is already placed on the computer. So we'll just click continue, continue, agree, install. And there we go. Um, go ahead and put in your password. It shouldn't take too long. Yeah, there we go, right there. Um, however, sometimes it can take up to 15 minutes depending on how slow your computer is, how old your Mac is, etc. Go ahead and click close. 
Move that to trash. No one wants to keep it on their computer. And there you go. The license removal tool is already set. However, there is one key step in which you must do at this point. And it is you need to restart your Mac. If you do not restart your Mac, none of the changes will go through. And your office could be even more messed up than it already is. So just go ahead and restart your Mac. And once you get that all set up, your license um, should go through on your Mac, just on your word processing. And there you go. Um, if this doesn't work for you, there are so many different other things that you can do, but I would say four out of five times this type of activation works. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just go ahead and comment below, and I'll see you guys next time.